APP Armor is a Linux kernel security module that allows the system administrator to restrict programs' capabilities with per-program profiles. Profiles can allow capabilities like network access, RAR socket access, and the permission to read, write, or execute files on matching paths. APP Armor supplements the traditional Unix discretionary access control model by providing mandatory access control. It was included in the mainline Linux kernel since version 2.6.36 and its development has been supported by Canonical Limited since 2009. In addition to manually creating profiles, APP Armor includes a learning mode, in which profile violations are logged, but not prevented. This log can then be used to generate an APAMA profile, based on the program's typical behavior. APP Armor is implemented using the Linux Security Modules kernel interface. APP Armor is offered in part as an alternative to Selenux, which critics consider difficult for administrators to set up and maintain. Unlike Selenux, which is based on applying labels to files, APP Armor works with file paths. Proponents of APP Armor claim that it is less complex and easier for the average user to learn than Selenux. They also claim that APP Armor requires fewer modifications to work with existing systems, for example, Selenux requires a file system that supports security labels, and thus cannot provide access control for files mounted via NFS. APP Armor is file system agnostic. Other systems, APP Armor represents one of several possible approaches to the problem of restricting the actions that installed software may take. The Selenux system generally takes an approach similar to APP Armor. One important difference is that Selenux identifies file system objects by inode number instead of path. This means, for example, while a file that is inaccessible may become accessible under APP Armor when a hard link to it is created, Selenux would still deny access through the newly created hard link, since the underlying data that is referenced by the inode would be the same. Selenux and APP Armor also differ significantly in how they are administered and how they integrate into the system. Isolation of processes can also be accomplished by mechanisms like virtualization. The One Laptop Per Child project, for example, sandboxes individual applications in lightweight server. In 2007, the simplified mandatory access control kernel was introduced. In 2009, a new solution called Timwire was included in Linux 2.6.30. Like APP Armor, it also uses path-based access control. Equals availability equals, APP Armor was first used in a Munich Linux 1998 Euro 2003. At the time, APP Armor was known as subdomain, a reference to the ability for a security profile for a specific program to be segmented into different domains which the program can switch between dynamically. APP Armor was first made available in SUSE and OpenSUSE, and was first enabled by default in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server 10 and in OpenSUSE 10.1. From 2005 to September 2007, APP Armor was maintained by Novell. APP Armor was first successfully ported packaged for Ubuntu in April 2007. APP Armor became a default package starting in Ubuntu 7.10, and came as a part of the release of Ubuntu 8.04, protecting only cups by default. As of Ubuntu 9.04 more items such as MySQL have installed profiles. APP Armor hardening continued to improve in Ubuntu 9.10 as it ships with profiles for its guest session, Levite Virtual Machines, the Events Document Viewer and an optional Firefox profile. APP Armor was integrated into the October 2010, 2.6.36 kernel release. APP Armor has been integrated to Synology's DSM 5.1 beta in 2014. See also Linux Intrusion Detection System, Sysrace, Xcurity References External links APP Armor Wiki APP Armor Description from OpenSUSE.org, LKML thread containing comments and criticism of APP Armor, APAMA packages for Ubuntu, Counterpoint, Novell and Red Hat security experts face off on APP Armor and Selenux, HTTP, 
www.novelcomsecurity.